Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I literally feel like every single time I film a video, the beginning starts out by saying like, sorry I haven't posted in a while, sorry I haven't filmed any videos, blah 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 blah, and then I talk about how terrible my life is. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna pretend that that didn't happen. So let's just pretend that the last time you guys saw me was like a week ago and we don't have to talk about the month break for like the third time this year. So basically to catch you guys up a little bit, I was just in Myrtle Beach for a week. I actually got home not yesterday, but the day before that. And I told myself that I was going to film in Myrtle Beach, but I just ended up not doing it. I don't know. There was just a lot of people there. There was also a baby there. So I kind of just like didn't really ever feel comfortable to film. And also just, there was just so much going on like all the time. So I just had kind of decided like halfway through the trip that I wasn't going to film and it was whatever. Hola. <laughs> How drunk are you? He's had, how many is that? Yeah, look at my hair. <laughs> he's tallying how many drinks or shots he has, and he's at 13. So, we get in there. Y'all can imagine how he feels. <laughs> These are what the girlies are doing. That went over. Yeah, for real. Surprisingly, the weather is a lot better than we kind of expected it to be. We were kind of nervous when we were first coming here because it said it was gonna rain a lot and it said it really was not going to be that warm, but it ended up being pretty warm. Um, yesterday, I did not have the best day. I'm not going to explain why, but basically I was just out of my mind. That's all I'm gonna say. But I'm doing a lot better today and I'm just vibing so hard right now and I just took pictures with Jeremy and I feel like they're gonna end up being- me off now. Okay, period. Hi guys, it's me. Josie from OFM. Yup. Did you show them the pool? Yeah. Period. Here's our mommy friend yes. over here. She's taking her baby. She's going to put her swimsuit on. Yeah. She is slaying. Look at her. Yeah, Look at her she's being. She's the best mom I know, for yeah. real. No, I was just talking about how I was not doing well yesterday. Uh, did you tell them I wasn't doing well? Yeah, Josie wasn't doing well for other reasons, but... Yeah, I was constipated. Don't say that. <laughs> so okay, Jeremy let's get went back to the to bars this. and couldn't find a lip line. Okay, let's take a picture. Yeah, and last night I was so sad because everybody went out and I didn't go because I was literally going through it. Yeah. And we also were sad because the bars ended up being a bust. Yeah, I wasn't there, so I wouldn't know. But we still ended up having fun, but we'll have more fun tonight with y'all. So I know, I want to go somewhere. We're gonna go to Tin Roof something. tonight. Tin Roof? That's what Ari said the lit spot was, and it was closed yesterday. Okay. So we so. going out tonight and I'm so excited. I look extremely pale right now, which is not good because I'm about to do something that's going to make me look 10 times more paler. I lied. I actually got home from Myrtle Beach yesterday, but it was like 10 in the morning when I got home and I was so tired. So I basically slept my entire day away. So I'm a little confused about the days right now, but last night I actually contacted a therapist. So my first therapy appointment is literally tomorrow which I'm so freaking excited about. I've literally never been to therapy before, but I'm currently at a point in my life where therapy is what I need most. And so that'll be exciting. So honestly, today's video is just going to be full of some different therapy things. Um, I just this morning went and saw an old friend, which was so fun. We went to get some food and then we went thrifting together. She lives like 35 minutes away and I left my credit card at the restaurant that we were at so that's just amazing And then I was literally on my way home so close to being home and I was like, I want to dye my hair <laughs> This is literally how like every like girl story goes So then obviously I turned around and I went to the hair place and I bought hair dye I literally walked into the place and I just walked up to the girl and I was like, you need to help me so I've always gotten my hair like professionally dyed by like a hair girl, but I don't know. I just, I, I feel like there's honestly like no point for it. I mean, like if I wanted to get my hair cut and like all that stuff, obviously I would, but I dye my hair the darkest shade of black and like there's just no reason that I need to pay like 80 to a hundred dollars to get my hair dyed pitch black when I could literally do it myself at home. So I made sure I didn't get like a box dye or anything. I mean, I don't know. I'm just kind of having like faith in this girl. I just kind of walked in and I described like this message that my hair lady had sent me like a long time ago about what she uses to dye my hair so i described that and i said and i'm trying to avoid box dye like i don't want to use box dye like i want to use what the hair people use and so she showed me these and then she also 
told me to buy this and I'm just kind of like I have no idea what I'm doing here but like it can't be that hard and she had said to me like when you're doing like one sing one singular color especially like black like it's kind of hard to mess it up so I mean we'll see if I mess it up but I feel like it really can't be that hard and then later I'm actually going to a piercing place with Courtney because she wants to get her nose pierced and I've honestly had a few things that maybe I want to get pierced I mean I really don't know I kind of just am like in the mood to live and do crazy things. This sounds so unhealthy. But yeah, so I'm gonna go with her because she just talked about getting a piercing all week. Who knows if I'll get something, maybe I will. I don't know, I have a few different things in mind, so I'm kind of just like, might as well. So I'm in my bathroom and I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> We're gonna mix the hair dye in this cool whip bowl because I think that's the most aesthetic way to go about this, so. It might be too late, but let me know in the comments below if this is what I should be using. Um, honestly, don't tell me because it's too late if you're seeing this. I actually have hairdresser friends and I had texted one of them and I said, hey, I wanna dye my hair. And I texted her that probably like three hours ago and she hasn't responded, so I was just a little impatient. So I took matters into my own hands and now here we are. Oh yeah, this is literally my aesthetic right here. My day actually started so terribly. I was in such a bad mood this morning, but thankfully I went and hung out with my friend and just everything got better. And now here I am dyeing my hair. So maybe this was all meant to happen. I also have these plastic gloves, which were given to me by my biology teacher for my science labs, but I'm using them for something else because I'm sorry, I have to. I literally look insane right now. I'm mixing my hair dye in a Cool Whip container with a plastic fork. Oh, look at that. It's turning darker. I feel like when girls start like dyeing their hair at home by themselves, that's like their breaking point. <laughs> I feel like every girl experiences this at least once in their life. Okay, so I'm honestly almost finished with this section. Obviously, I'm going to go back through and like touch everything up, but I don't want you guys to have to sit here and watch me do my entire head. And I also don't want the camera to die, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. So I'll see you guys once I'm finished. So y'all. I am done. Um, I kind of got it all over myself, which I hope it comes off because I got it on my finger. And it's not coming off very well. And I also got it on my leg, but I didn't get it on anything else, which is amazing. So yeah, um, so basically I'm praying that once it comes time to, you know, wash this off, it comes off of my neck because the entire back of my neck is literally full of it. So that is unfortunate, but so far I think I think it's good. Oh, and now we just kind of have to wait for the result. So I'll see you guys once that is. I think I have like 25 more minutes or something. My neck. <laughs> oh my god. So as you guys can see, I am out of the shower now. Um, I'm really struggling to get the dye off of me. Um, I would say that I've done a pretty good job getting it off of my forehead. I looked up some different ways and one of them was a makeup wipe. I mean, there's a bunch of other ways too to get like hair dye off of your skin, but this is just the most like accessible right now. So that's just what I'm using, but I've literally been wiping and it just, it won't come all the way off. Um, I have it on my leg, on both my arms. Like I was not very careful when I did this. I kind of just expected it to like come right off and it didn't. So before I like dry my hair or anything, I kind of want to at least get it off like my face and my neck so I don't have to like put product next to my nice and dry hair. My neck is definitely the worst part. I can't even see the entire thing, but I know it's literally all over my neck. What the heck? So yeah, um, I'm going to keep trying to get this off and then I'm going to blow dry my hair. So once again, I'll see you guys in a second. So y'all, I'm done. I just blow dried my hair and I straightened it. Let me just say this is definitely the darkest I have ever done my hair before. Um, I think if I got on a little bit of a cuter outfit and did my makeup, I'd really like it. But right now I feel like it's just making me look really, really pale. And I also still have black stuff all over me, which I am trying like really hard to get off, but it is just not working. I'm gonna go show my mom because she keeps asking. And then I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna change my outfit, and then I'm gonna go hang out with Courtney. And we're gonna see what Courtney thinks because her reaction is probably gonna be like, mm. but I guess I'll film showing my mom because why not? 
not that it's too dark. Well, I think it looks pretty close to when you get it colored. I don't know, I think it's a lot darker. Turn around. It's really dark. Maybe a teeny tiny bit, but not too much. That looks pretty good. It's so dark. Is it a lot cheaper than the kind of It's $20. Oh, really? Look at it. It's really dark. Okay, y'all, I was right. The second I did my makeup and I put on a cute outfit, I love it so much more. So I was literally just going to wear this black outfit, but I was kind of like, I look a little bit too dark. There's too much dark going on. So I put on a little white puffer coat. Oh my gosh. I'm starting to actually really, really like it. It's really dark in my opinion, but I still love it. So I keep calling Courtney and she's not answering. So what better thing to do than just show up? You know, so I'm just going to show up and I'm going to sit there until she answers me because girl, we had plans and mm -mm, you ain't going to cancel it. taking a nap. I'm coming and I will be at your door. So it's just a matter of time until you answer, you know? So me and Courtney are in the car, right? <laughs> I'm going to get piercings at Honestly, what time? It's 10.14 right now, but honestly. 11.14. It's actually, oh my god, my time's a lie. So, so I didn't. Even, I actually didn't even realize it was 11.15 because the car. Yeah, I just changed my time today. On your car? Yes. I need to change mine. But honestly, I don't even want a piercing. Like, I mean, I guess I do, but like there's well, not even actually, anything specifically that I want. Give me a minute. This girl texted me today while I was in class and said, do you want to go get piercings later? So she was the one that came up with it. Yeah, I really was. And then I was like, okay, I'll get my nose pierced. Yeah, she spent, she was literally talking when we were in Myrtle Beach and she was saying she wanted a piercing so bad. Yeah, So I, I was trying to encourage her and I mean like, since I'm going through it and everything, I was like, what better thing to do than put a hole in your body? So we're gonna go get piercings. I think I want to get this pierced up here. Yeah, I think I think that that's would be a good idea. We're gonna be there soon, and we'll show you guys. Oh, oh, man. Left us with, like, <laughs> shit for it. I have not been that busy. To oh, <laughs> get plugged. Mom said, "Where are you?" It's now bad time to tell her. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 19. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Candy. Yeah. Oh no, she's gonna freak out. Uh, just. Don't say anything. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've been trying. Look at my neck. <laughs> I'm trying to get it off. Go ahead and take a look in this mirror right here. See if you like it. It's gonna hurt. Now it's gonna burn. Burn. It gets hot. Is my nose gonna hurt? I got my belly button. What do you think's worse? Nose, nose is or that the easiest. Is it okay. not? I think the nose. You'll be okay. Is this bad? Do you know? No, it just gets warm. Do you like Cause it? Cause I literally nice. hate piercings. Do you like it? Yeah. Go and yeah. lay down for me, head this way, flat on your back. Head this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so now when I do this, I do tend to go as fast as I can. Oh, is wow. that too bad for you? Wow. You're really good. I'm in phase. <laughs> Carly, you already did it. I know, I'm really in phase. No, it's already done. Like, she's just pinching the oh, jewelry together. It's already done. I just got the ball. Oh, on damn it. Carly, you're done. <laughs> You're done. Oh my god, I can't believe that happened <laughs> that fast. You're done. Hey, Courtney, you're fine. <laughs> really felt like nothing actually. Now, now I'm not scared. I feel like I should do another I one. Tend to... It does burn a little bit. That's about it. It's it. really oh! warm. It's so cute. I can't believe I just did that. I just open it as wide as possible. <laughs> You're that okay, Court. Remember when you did mine? I don't. Oh, no. it's not that bad. I told you. Okay. Okay. I told you. I told you. It's literally not that bad. <laughs> Was it that bad? No. Like, yeah, you really are. I might have to come back. <laughs> okay. We're done. My ear is so red and it's literally on fire. But your nose looks so good. Guys, honestly, if you got a belly button piercing and didn't get a nose piercing, belly button is way uh, worse. Moving this hurts. I have not touched mine and I don't want to. Dude, when I first got my nose done, I literally was like... <laughs> I recommend not to do that. 
but oh my god touching this it's so painful I don't I, like uh, I keep getting scared my glasses are gonna touch it but I think it's fine yeah you're fine when she first put the marker on it was that. like way too far up but I told her to move it and it looks good dude my ear is on fire I can't believe you're not suffering at all Oh, I don't even know what's going on. Mine does not hurt for some reason. Oh, dude, look at how I thought red. my third, my thirds on my ears hurt more than this. I told you the nose was not bad. It's crazy. This was worse than the nose, but I had no reaction. I had no reaction to that. When my nose, I saw your face. You were like, mm. I was scared. <laughs> it hurt. I, I, I definitely really did nervous. it not hurt a little bit when the piercing went in. It hurt, but like barely. She thought she was like the jewelry is gonna hurt when it goes in, mm -hmm. and I was like, that was like the same as the needle. Like she did that so yeah fast. I couldn't even think. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, uh, it it really does hurt, and I'm not enjoying the hoop she put in because it has a ball. You need to make it. sure that doesn't get infected. Oh well, heck to the no. I've heard people who got hurt theirs got infected. I'm getting a FaceTime call. <laughs> bro <laughs> yeah anyway so if y'all want to go get your nose pierced just do it all right y'all it might be a little loud in here right now because i am in the car but while i was on the way there i just kind of wanted to give you guys a little morning update so it is eight. Oh my gosh i almost just freaked out because of the time change thing my car said it was like 7 13 and i was like oh my gosh i don't know what time it is but it's 8 13 and my appointment is at 8 30 and i'm 11 minutes away so i'm good on time right now but i just wanted to tell you guys that i woke up this morning and i was like oh my god i got my ear pierced last night and i literally dyed my hair black i just had a moment i was like i'm giving like emo angry teenager <laughs> which is fine i mean all right, but my hair is just so dark. I was able to get some of the hair dye off this morning, but my ear is on literal fire. Um, I'm gonna go get some tea tree oil later because it just does not feel very good, but it's all right. But I am a little nervous, not to lie to y'all about this because I've never done this before, but I think it'll be healing, it'll be fun, whatever. So I'll update you guys after because you know, I'm sure y'all want to hear about it. So, I will see you guys after I do this. Goodbye, y'all. Oh my god, this song. Okay. Um, the reason that song was playing, by the way, is because one day my brother and I literally were trying to make like personal ringtones for each other because we're weird. And for some reason, we wanted it to be the song Ski. Um, so I bought that song on iTunes, and now it's the only song that I have on iTunes. So I use Spotify, so every single time I connect to my car, that song starts playing, and naturally the volume in my car is like turned up. So every time I literally get into my car, I hear that song, which I just think is so funny, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because I wasn't just unironically listening to that song. like right the second I got in the car. So I did not talk to you guys yesterday um, after my little therapy session. Um, I was supposed to go dance right after that, but I was just so exhausted because I had gotten no sleep the night prior. So then I had ended up actually coming home instead and I went back to sleep. And then yesterday was just a crazy day. Um, yeah, but <laughs> after today, I feel a lot happier today. I feel like this entire video has displayed me literally being in like a crazy mental breakdown. And I feel like I'm now at a point where that is over. So before y'all comment that you're like concerned for me because I dyed my hair and I pierced my ear and I was just like going through it, it's okay. I'm through it now, everything is fine. Um, but to talk about therapy really quickly, it was, uh, let me see if this helps. It was a really crazy experience, honestly. And what I kind of just have to say about it is you kind of immediately start to realize that when you're talking to a stranger, especially that there's more things that are you're going through and that are actually on your mind than you like realize. Like she would ask me questions about like, you know, something that I didn't even actually intend to go to therapy for. And then I kind of realized 
how that aspect can connect to what I'm actually going through like currently so it was just crazy that I realized that like there's so much more in my life that I need to like work on and figure out than what I actually believed in my head like I literally was going there and I had like one thing on my mind and I left being like now I have 10 things on my mind which is good because if you have unresolved feelings from throughout your life, like you obviously gotta figure that out or it's just slowly and creepily in your head living in there and no one really knows about it. So what I have to say is if you have been anticipating like going to therapy, like you've been thinking about it but you just haven't made the big step, just do it because I have been talking to you guys about going to therapy for how long? Literally how long? And the fact that I just recently did it and I texted her like three days ago and my appointment was yesterday. So it's literally just that fast. Like you just gotta do it and yeah. I'm so excited to go back next week. Like I feel like I just have so much to say. Unfortunately, it was just like a little hard the first time because she had to like learn everything about me first and like we didn't even really get to the nitty gritty of all of that, but that's why you go more than once, but Currently, I'm actually going to this house. Um, my friend Courtney babysits, and she just asked if I wanted to come and experience. She obviously asked permission from like the parents and everything like that. And babysitting is just kind of something that, like, I guess I've always considered, but just after like she brought this conversation up to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, like that would be so fun for me to just like have something to actually go do throughout the week. So I kind of just want to go and like get a feel for the atmosphere and see like if I'd even be interested in babysitting. So that's kind of what I'm going to go do. I'm only going to be there for about an hour and then we'll see what I do after that. I really need to clean my space and stuff today. But yeah, I'm very positive and very happy today. Um, I actually, fun fact about my ear piercing is I hated it. I hated it. I literally woke up the next morning and I was like, uh-uh. But I actually, oh, I was gonna look in the mirror, but it's over here. I actually think it's cute now. I'm, it hurts really bad still. It's a lot better today than it was yesterday, but I'm starting to accept it and really like it. And I really like my hair too. And I still haven't been able to get the hair dye off of me, which is embarrassing, but so yeah, that's an update for now. I'll definitely film more stuff like for the rest of today and then we'll just kind of wrap this video up. It's been extremely hectic, so I hope you guys are still with me here because it was all over the place, but this is what my life is right now and I need to just start sharing the real things. Oh, also my fingernails black too, but yeah. I need to start sharing the real things in my life, so that's what I did in this video. I lied to you guys so much, and I'm so sorry about it because I don't even try to do it, but the last time I talked to you was like two days ago, and literally at the end of that clip, I was like, <laughs> I'll film more today, like, y'all will see me, and then I was gonna film like yesterday and the day before that, and then I just literally never did, so here we are now. Um, it is Saturday, and I decided to pick up the camera because... I need some help. Um, <laughs> let's compare ears really quickly. So I, I have awfully small ears, I would say. Like, this part of my ear is really small. Just in general, I have pretty small ears. Why is this ear huge? <laughs> like, little cute tiny little ear. What is that? Fat little red giant nasty crusty ear? <laughs> okay. So obviously my ear is infected. I'll yeah, make it. sure that doesn't get infected. Oh, well, heck to the no. Like the entire thing. I'm so glad it like stops right here though because like at least I can still wear my hoops and stuff. But like why is, oh, I can't even touch it. Why is this entire part of my ear infected? Um, When I got my nose pierced, I put tea tree oil on my nose. Like literally I would... <laughs> not gonna lie but I would never clean my nose piercing because I just never did and then it would literally get infected and I'd put tea tree oil on it and then I'd wake up the next day and it was literally gone so going into this I thought tea tree oil was literally going to be my lord and savior so I put tea tree oil on it almost every single day and then <laughs> this just started showing up and I now have this which it's like a pain relieving and like cleansing bacterial spray and now I'm putting that on, but I'm literally just like, are you kidding me? I've been cleaning it multiple times a day, and then this happens. Like, what did I do wrong? So, any girlies out there, or 
even even the boys out there if you got piercings please help me like literally send any tip that you can because this is the most painful thing literally ever in my life also fun fact um I don't know if y'all know this, but I've literally had an ingrown toenail <laughs> for like a month and a half and it was so bad, so bad, literally so bad that I was honestly convinced I was going to have to get my toe cut off for a while. I woke up today and it, it just looks normal again. It literally like went away like magic. So I'm honestly like shocked. I feel like somehow like I got some karma at the same time as like getting some good luck they were like oh like let's fix your toe and then screw up your ear at the same time like can i not just have a normal body for one day but seriously thank you guys so much for watching this video it was honestly so crazy at the beginning of this video i was a little bit mentally crazy at the end of the video i'm feeling a lot better so you can expect to see me again pretty soon and i'm not gonna put a date on it because you know me i'm very flaky at this point but I'm gonna get back into this. I swear to you guys. I'm done lying. I'm done lying to you guys. So yeah, I will see y'all soon. I love you all so much.